It's Chris. Why won't you believe me? Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemesis. And today we're going to talk about something a little fun, a little lighter. It's not super serious or anything, uh, but just something I wanted to cover because I, I thought it was neat and it was a very interesting coincidence. And I also want to point out because uh, normally I get my information from IMDb or I go like look for sources. But this actually came from, um, you know, Hannah John Kamen's actual Instagram account, who is the actress who plays Jill Valentine um, in the movie. And I'm very excited for that because I actually really liked her as Ghost in, um, in Ant-Man and Wasp. I'm someone who deals with pain on a daily basis and her character does too in that movie and it helped me connect a little bit to that character so i know i'm kind of in a maybe a, a, a minority of like a reason to connect to her um you know not everyone goes through that obviously but uh but uh you know some people do and, and that made me connect to that character and, and kind of root for her in that movie and hopefully we see her again as ghost because i, I kind of like the character i want to see what happens to her next uh but she's playing obviously in this movie she's playing jill valentine and uh and she has a talent that I didn't know she had. And uh, I got this information from her Instagram, but through Resident Evil Reboot. So again, I wanna give them a shout out. Make sure you go check out their Instagram uh, account because they put basically everything I make videos on, they cover too. I mean, it's great minds think alike, but it's also, this is the information that's coming out there. We got, you know, if you go to the IMDb, you see that Nathan Dales played uh, Brad Vickers. Obviously, Re uh, Resident Evil Reboot, whoever runs that account, they go to the same website and check it. It looks like they go every day, just like I do. Um, so we get information from the same places, but this time I follow Hannah John Kamen on Instagram, but I just didn't see her. She doesn't post a lot, so she doesn't pop up in my feed. So her post didn't pop up in my feed, but Resident Evil Reboots did. So I was able through them to get to Hannah's account. And, uh, and that's where I found this gem. <laughs> Just like Resident Evil Reboot, that made me think, oh my God, she's playing Jill Valentine. She can play the piano. Well, there's a scene in the video game where you have to play a piano to solve a puzzle. Now, typically, if you're playing as Chris in the video game, Rebecca plays the you know piano for you because Chris doesn't know how to play the piano. But Rebecca does, but she's out of, you know, she hasn't played it in a while. So she tries a couple times and she fails and she's like, yeah, I can't do it. Uh, but obviously, Rebecca is not in Jill's campaign. So when you play the game through as Jill... Jill herself knows how to play the piano, um, which is a skill that the character has, a talent that she has, uh, besides lockpicking, which she's also the master of unlocking. <laughs> so, uh, so when I saw that, you know, Hannah here playing piano and playing it so beautifully, I was like, you know what, I might take a clip of that and make a new intro for this show using that, because I liked using that Code Veronica song which was really nice about the, the king and the queen and that singing song from uh, Alexia Ashford. I really liked the, having that as an intro. Um, and then I like, you know, the ones we have now that we use as well. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, that would be nice to have an intro from the actress who plays Jill Valentine playing the piano, which Jill does in the video game. Um, I think that's just kind of nice. I, I, I like that kind of synergy in a way. So uh, you might hear some episodes coming up where I have alternate intros and it might be you know the sound of her playing the piano uh which was a beautiful sound she she was really great at it and so uh, it made me think of the game and how jill has to play a, uh, the piano to unlock a puzzle in the game there's like a wall that slides open and there's like the crest in there like the you know and then you have to go in and uh we have to run out to the the dining room grab the gold crest there run back or the wooden crest and then run back exchange it for the gold crest so that the wall doesn't close down on you and then go out into the dining room and put the gold crest over the fireplace and that unlocks the clock which then there's another puzzle that you got to solve to uh you know get something that's behind the clock uh so yeah that's kind of the thing in the resident evil universe is that you're solving puzzles as well as trying to survive you know zombies and monsters and stuff because you're trapped in like a literal funhouse created by a rich weirdo named oswell e. spencer 
who hired a guy named uh, Steve, uh, not Steve Trevor, because uh, <laughs> that's a uh, Wonder Woman, um, but yeah, has a, has hires an architect with the last name Trevor um, who comes in and, uh, and and you know designs the house and stuff and puts in all these little things. But then Oswald E. Spencer tweaked them and then trapped uh, that you know uh, the designer trapped that architect into the house that he helped to build and got him trapped in there and he couldn't solve the puzzles again and he ended up starving to death and die. So if you haven't seen my lore video on the Trevor family, because we might, we're going to get Lisa Trevor in this movie, it seems. So go back and watch the lore video, um, you know, in earlier in season one. Um, it's like in the first like 10 episodes or so, but I do an episode called the tragedy of the Trevor family. And it's, it's really great. And I'll do more lore videos coming up and some, I'm also going to do some readings. I thought about, you know, there's some files in the Resident Evil games, especially the first two that I think are just really great files that tell help tell the story of the Resident Evil universe. And then I thought about doing some like readings of those and uh, and cutting in some images and stuff from the games to kind of, uh, you know, make some videos out of those. So if that's something you guys are into, let me know and I'll, you know, I'll probably add some of those to the lineup coming down the line. Um, but yeah, I just want to hear what you guys thought of this. Like, do you think, is it just a coincidence? Like Hannah just knows how to play piano, maybe growing up, you know, played piano and maybe it has nothing to do with Resident Evil because she's just like, when she posted, she's like, yeah, I'm just killing time today. And I'm like, uh, like, yeah, but you have a, a skill that your video game counterpart also has. So like, do you play piano in the movie as Jill? Like that could be really great to see that scene where she plays a piano and opens a, a secret door or something. Um, I'd love to see a scene, like, even if they don't do all the puzzles, but if they just have the piano open a door that Jill can then use to, you know, get out of a room because she's trapped in there, even that would work. That would be cool to me. Um, Cause you can imagine where she, she has to play the piano and there's like zombies breaking on the door or a hunter or Lisa Trevor like trying to kick in the door and she and Jill has to stay calm and play the piano and the walls like slowly sliding open and she's like just play it enough to like get it open so I can squeeze through and then she has to like the door busts open she goes crap and she runs to the the wall and tries to slide through and then she barely gets through as Lisa Trevor reaches for her like that would be such a tense scene such an intense moment um and I would love that so much but of course I'm just just daydreaming <laughs> i don't know if that, something like that would be in the movie but i would love for something like that to be in a movie that'd be great so uh let me know what you think do you think uh her playing the piano here is any kind of just you think it's just a coincidence that she has the skill also and she might not play the piano in the movie as jill or do you think you know she's just doing like a little wink wink like hey you know what i played piano in the Resident evil movie it got my you know got that those creative juices going when it comes to music again and uh and and i, I can't remember did she play piano in wasp and in wasp or not i can't remember i don't think she i don't know if she did or not uh maybe i'm just like you know, making stuff up now but um but I, it's a great talent to have she plays it beautifully she's a beautiful person um and i'm excited to see her as jill i saw some people kind of being frumpy about it um and uh, and to me i'm like hey as long as she acts like jill if she can play the piano and lock pick and she's like a badass and she's tough um and she you know can save the day and and do all these things these are all great attributes of jill valentine and if she can do all those things then she's perfect for jill and and so that's why i'm willing to uh, to give it a chance and check it out so let me know what you think of hannah and her piano playing down below and and all the other questions i asked if you have thoughts on those let me know those down below as, as well and we'll continue our conversation down there. Uh, I am going to go now. I'm going to go to bed, I think, soon because uh, I have work tomorrow and I got to finish laundry and stuff and cook myself dinner because um, it's almost nine o'clock at night now. So uh, I'm going to go do all that and get ready for, for the end, you know, wrapping up my night. But uh, thank you guys for watching this. I'll try to get these videos up to you throughout the weekend for sure and uh, and get them up as fast as I can. And then next week, you uh, from me recording this because it's Thursday now, uh, uh, February 4th, and I recorded all these episodes tonight, these four episodes. Um, I'll, I have uh, maybe I'll do one of those readings of um, a journal from one of the Res Evil games from the first one, John, um, the researcher who was uh, um, connected to Ada and had a, a love interest with Ada. Like he, he was like, they were dating, but Ada was just really just using him. Um, I might do a reading of that journal uh, and include some of the comic book art from the comic book in there. So I was thinking about doing that. And then also I recorded the afterlife, um, you know, commentary track. So I'll probably post that next week too. So you'll get more Res Evil stuff next week. And then I'll also, um, I'll try to get, uh, uh, more uh, videos of Reverse. I recorded like five hours or four hours of footage of me playing Resident Evil Reverse over on Twitch. And I'm going to try to use that footage, chop it up and make some videos out of it. And so uh, I'll be sharing those with you guys in the coming weeks too. So uh, yeah, a lot of Resident Evil content coming up on this channel. And I'm, I'm sorry if I get behind sometimes, if I don't post for like a week or so, just bear with me. I'll, I'll try to make it up to you by posting a bunch of videos all at once to make it up to you. So thank you so much for watching the show as always, uh, and I will see you guys in the future. Peace.